I've had a number of people ask about my patterns and what all is included and how much information I give them. I try to give you as much information as I can about how to cut the pattern out, but I do not include the actual instructions on how to build a basic bandsaw box. I have to assume that most people who order patterns are already familiar with building the box. I do, however, have a set of instructions available if you're interested in building a small trinket box. It's quite detailed and, of course, could be used to apply the same principles to these larger boxes. In each case, the pattern will include a picture of the finished box so that you can see what it looks like finished, what I've done with the color of the wood or with the poles or other things. Also, I give you instructions on how to cut the box out and if there's something unique, I also include instructions on reassembling the box. Also, I give you the pattern, of course. If it's an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, if it'll fit that, it'll be all on one sheet. And then I give you how to, well, I've kept the drawers, how to cut, the, or where the hidden drawer will fit, that type of information. If it's a larger box, such as the locomotive, I give you not only the picture and the instructions on cutting it out, but the pattern will be on two pages because of the size. Well, what I've done is made a line along this one. For example, I've cut on that one so you can see kind of how it goes, and then you put the two patterns together, and you've got a, a full-size pattern on two sheets of paper. Also, I've tried to give you information on problems, things that you might run into. For example, on this drawer, if you cut in here and come all the way around, if you get to, down into this point, you're going to find that you won't be able to make that last corner. So if you come back back into about this point, back out, and then back the blade in and cut in this direction, you'll be able to go all the way around. This, of course, only applies to a 14-inch bandsaw or smaller. If you've got a large 20-inch bandsaw, you probably won't have any trouble with it. The same thing applies to this drawer down here. Because of the length of the box, you can't make those corners on, on a 14-inch bandsaw. If you've got a, a, one of my larger boxes, for example, this necklace box, I've given you the same kind of a situation. I showed you how to cut it out, all the details that way. I give you the enlarged size, the full size of the box finished, because this pattern is again in two pieces but because of the limitations of eight and a half by eleven paper it's a little bit smaller than what the finished box will be so you have to take it to the copier enlarge it and print it on legal paper and then you'll have a full-size pattern also there's some unique features about this box for example I give you instructions on how to put in the uh, rolls and the felt for the ring drawer also, I've given you instructions on how to put the, the hooks in the top of the necklace drawer so you can hang up your necklaces, and also instructions on how to build the lift-out tray. So I think there's enough information on all of these that you should be able to build the box without any difficulty. And one thing I did not include is instructions on how to build the hidden drawer. I have that available. It's to take several pages and a little more complicated, so it's on, available on a separate set of instructions. But there is enough information on each one of them as far as how to cut it, how to reassemble it, any unique situations that you should be able to build the box without any difficulty at all. Thank you.